Hi, I'm Mike Kilbert. I'm a ride project engineer here for, at Disney California Adventure. Uh, my uh, project was the Luigi's Flying Tires attraction. Can you walk us through that, uh, that, that ride from the technology perspective? Um, okay, yeah, yeah, actually, if you, uh, some, some people remember there was a flying saucer ride at Disneyland back in the 19, early 1960s, 1960 to 64, roughly, and um, so, so that kind of inspired this ride. Uh, there were some people that had some really fond memories of that ride, so, but there was also some, uh, some big technical issues with that ride, and, uh, and so we uh, wanted to recreate the ride, but we wanted to make sure we didn't make the same mistakes as were made before. So, um, so, so this ride, uh, we <coughs> used a, a whole different air distribution system. So, uh, the the way we uh, the, the the old ride had a bunch of uh, had thousands of valves at each of the air nozzles, and and this one works more like an air hockey table. But we have some really big fans down there that push a whole lot of air. And uh, and that's uh, and we've also uh, segmented the, uh, the the plenums down below uh, to avoid some of the problems that they had with uh, pressure waves and that sort of thing going. Um, I guess also I could tell you is uh, the vehicles we built are, are carbon fiber uh, bodies, you know, similar to what's used in aircraft and spacecraft, and uh, and so that makes them uh, very lightweight. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's kind of some of the technology we have there. And we also developed a, uh, a very unique new bumper system where we're using the air actually to inflate the bumpers. So there's air bags that are inflated around each vehicle and are all the way around the perimeter of the ride. And so that allows us to be able to go to uh, fairly high speeds without having a, a big uh, impact collision. So, so, when you, when, so when you bump into each other, it's very gentle. It's, it's, it's actually a, you know, a very soft impact. What role did technology play in pre-visualization and bringing this uh, concept to life? So we use uh, computer-aided design, uh, CAD software, of course, for uh, design work. Um, we do that for integrating. Uh, we integrate uh, things that the facility people do with the, the ride stuff, and uh, we bring that all together in, in a uh, three-dimensional model, and so that we know where all the structure is and all the... Uh, all the different parts of the ride, and so that uh, we don't have interferences between the you know the sprinkler systems and uh, ventilation, the uh, electrical systems, all that's figured out ahead of time. What role have the advance of tablets played in allowing you guys to build these kind of rides and be out there while they're constructing them? Um, we have used tablets. Uh, we use it as a part of uh, our construction process. Um, we do job walks with a tablet, and as you go walk through the job, we, we, we develop the punch list uh, right electronically on a tablet. And then that information, of course, is, is put into a database. And so uh, as, uh, as the punch list items get completed, uh, they get checked off electronically. Uh, we go back and check to make sure that, that, that all the right corrections were made. And uh, so, so, so that's one way uh, we've used tablets.